Common opossums are marsupials of the New World. They live in tropical dry and moist forests, but can also be found in fields and cities. Common opossums are mainly nocturnal and terrestrial, but will also readily climb trees for nesting. Outside of the breeding season, they are usually solitary. These animals are also often trapped and killed because they are considered pests due to their somewhat raccoon-like behavior. They have adapted very well to man, raid trash cans, nest in locations that are not suitable, and cause mayhem if encountered within a human living space. Also they are commonly known for raiding hens on chicken farms or houses. Bear-tailed woolly opossums are small marsupials found in the rainforests of South America. They are normally nocturnal, arboreal, the fur is woolly, feed on insects, and as seen in the images very territorial. The term armadillo means little armored one in Spanish and refers to the presence of bony, armor-like plates covering their body. Despite their name, nine-banded armadillos can have seven to eleven bands on their armor. The nine-banded armadillo can hold its breath for up to six minutes and can swim or walk along the bottom of rivers. They build burrows that other animals can use when abandoned. The three-toed sloth is a truly unique animal that inhabits the rainforest canopies of Central and South America. Very slow on land, when they come down to defecate once a week. They are slow but agile on the canopies where eat leaves, their claws help a lot. They have 30% less muscle mass than a regular mammal, to accommodate an enormous digestive system to process the leaves. Sloth fur is rife with macro and microorganisms like algae, fungi and moths. While these organisms benefit from having a sheltered place to live among the long coarse hairs, the sloth also gains from the relationship. Giant anteaters belong to the group of mammals that do not have teeth. Instead, they have tongues that can reach as much as two feet in length. They use this giant tongue to gather insects for food, extending it up to 150 times per minute. We found this individual early morning coming back from its night raid. He was apparently sleepy and let us follow him for near 15 minutes. Note the claws. Northern Tamandua, observed at night in its den and on the prowl for ants and termites. They inhabit various types of tropical forests within this region, including evergreen, deciduous, mangrove swamps, cloud forests, 
and secondary forests. Arboreal, in contrast with the giant one. The forefeet have four toes, while the hind feet have five. The tail makes one third of its length and is prehensile, helping him on the branches. The three-striped night monkey, also known as the northern night monkey or northern owl monkey, is one of several species of owl monkeys currently recognized. It is found in Venezuela and north-central Brazil, barely 800 grams in weight. It is found in the Western Amazon Basin, the smallest monkey of all, weighing 100 grams, fit on the fingers of a hand. His territories are evergreen and river-edge forests, and is a gum-feeding specialist, or a gumivore. The wedge-capped capuchin monkey is found in northern South America. They are very smart due to an unusual large brain in proportion to body size and reflects social complexity. Group sizes range from 5 to 40 monkeys, generally 1 to 3 adult males, 2 to 8 females and their offspring, also may have immigrant males. may live as long as 36 years. Their diet consists of fruit and insects, too little for their big body. That is why they are foraging all day long. High protein sources may include iguanas, squirrels, rodents, frogs, birds and eggs. The howler monkey is the largest monkey in South America and can reach up to 3 feet in length, excluding its tail, and weigh up to 25 pounds. Its prehensile tail helps it to hang onto the trees, where it spends most of the time feeding, mainly on leaves, although it also eats flowers and some fruits. The male is larger than the female, and its large jaw is immediately apparent. They live in social groups of up to 10 individuals with one or two males, at most. White-bellied spider monkey's limbs are long, muscular, and very strong. Their shoulders are such that the arms can fully rotate. The elbows allow the forearms to pronate, and large carpal tendons make their wrists extremely flexible. Their hands are long, thin, and thumbless. Their four long fingers form a perfect hook to help them swing on branches. All of these features are perfectly adapted to the monkey's suspensory mode of locomotion. Brown woolly monkeys are found in the upper Amazon basin in South America, 
ranging from the Rio Tapajos in Brazil to eastern Peru, Ecuador and Colombia. They live in the rainforest, usually in the canopy of the tallest trees, though they may also be found in the shrub layer. In certain seasons they may also enter flooded forests, due to a higher concentration of berries. Brown woolly monkeys are arboreal and diurnal. They spend a large amount of time eating and moving in the pursuit of food, covering roughly two kilometers per day. Black-mantled tamarins are found on the Amazonian pigment of Los Andes, from Colombia to Peru, up to 900 meters. They prefer mature forests, as well as dense secondary tropical rainforests. Black-mantled tamarins live in small multi-male, multi-female social groups of 4 to 12 members and occupy a home range of 30 to 50 hectares. The saddleback tamarine is endemic to the Amazonian forests of Bolivia, Brazil and Peru. They are small monkeys, similar in size to squirrels. The average male saddleback tamarine measures only 7 inches, 19.0 centimeters, from his head to the start of his tail. Females are slightly bigger, but only by about half an inch. Monk saki is endemic to Brazil and Peru. Monk sakis are shy and wary animals. They are totally arboreal, living high in the trees and sometimes descending to lower levels, but not to the ground. They are social and diurnal creatures. During the day, they move in pairs or small family groups spending most of their time feeding. The red-bellied TT lives in the forests south of the Amazon River in a variety of habitats. Lush evergreen neotropical terra firma rainforests, floodplain forests, and freshwater swamp forests are rich with all that they need, but as members of a rather adaptable and hardy species, they can also survive at forest and swamp edges, as well as within disturbed forests.
The ocelot is a medium-sized small cat that is native to the jungles of South America. The ocelot is an animal that was nearly driven to extinction in the 20th century as they were commonly hunted for their fur and for the myths of killing livestock. Many humans even gunned the animal as a sign of manhood. Today, however, national protection throughout much of their natural range has meant that the ocelot population has been able to recover somewhat, but the destruction of its habitats and those of its prey is a continuous threat. The ocelot is a strong and agile animal that can not only climb and run well, but they are also good swimmers as they are not afraid of water like numerous other cat species. The puma is a plain-colored cat, living all over the Americas. It prefers habitats with dense underbrush and rocky areas for stalking, but it can also live in open plains, coniferous and tropical forests, swamps and deserts. The puma is a carnivorous stalker, an ambush predator, and pursues a wide variety of prey. When large prey are killed, the puma is known to cover them with bush and return to feed over a period of days. They subsidize their diets with large insects and small rodents. This animal was filmed in the Orinoco Delta. The Jaguarundi is amongst the most unusual cat species in the New World, being rather weasel-like in its looks. Its body is slender and long, with a small flattened head, short legs, a long tail, and short rounded ears. The species has three main color morphs, dark, gray and red, all of which might be present in the same litter. The jaguar is the biggest cat in the Americas. It's commonly found in rainforests, savannas, and swamps, but at the northern end of its territory, it may enter the scrub country and even deserts. The jaguar still has a stronghold in the Amazon basin, but has been nearly wiped out of all drier regions. Wherever it is found, it requires fresh water as the jaguar is an excellent swimmer. The Sichuan fox has a relatively limited range in the coastal zones of northwestern Peru and southwestern Ecuador. Currently, the population is estimated to number fewer than 15,000 mature individuals and is thought likely to experience a continuing decline nearing 10% over the next generations largely as a result of ongoing habitat loss and degradation, combined with persecution.
in the shots hunting small mammals at night. They live in various parts of the rainforest environment, preferring areas with little human disturbance. They occur in Amazonia and in tropical moist forests, as well as in swamp forests, stands of bamboo, and cloud forests. Filmed in the Venezuelan plain stealing fish scraps, later capturing a big eel. The spectacled bear is the only species of bear in South America and one of the most emblematic mammals of the tropical Andes. Spectacled bears are robust, with short and muscular necks, and short but strong legs. As with all bears, spectacled bears walk on the soles of their feet and have longer front than rear legs, making them excellent climbers. Fur is usually black, although it can have dark red-brown tones on the upper parts. Spectacled bears sometimes have white to pale yellow markings around the muzzle, on the neck and on the chest. These markings may also be present around the eyes, which is the reason for its common name. The coati is a relative of the raccoon with a long, pointed muzzle, a long, bushy and ringed tail, and brown to red-brown fur. Coati mundis search for food both on the ground and in the forest canopy, frequently climbing to obtain fruits. This species is more typically seen on the ground. Coatis are omnivorous, typically eating fruit and invertebrates. Diet may include frogs, lizards, small mammals, or birds and their eggs. The kinkajou is a nimble night forest dwelling mammal of Central and South America. Because of its prehensile tail and hand-like feet, people originally mistook the kinkajou for a type of primate or lemur, but it actually belongs to the same order, carnivora, as dogs, cats and bears. The tyra is a forest-dwelling mammal native to the Americas. These animals belong to the weasel family. They have long, slender bodies with an appearance similar to weasels and martens. They have short, dark brown to black fur which is relatively uniform across the body, limbs, and tail, except for a yellow or orange spot on the chest. The fur on the head and neck is much paler, 
typically tan or grayish in color. The claws are short and curved, but strong, being adapted for climbing and running rather than digging. The head has small, rounded ears, long whiskers, and black eyes with a blue-green shine. Galapagos fur seals are typically found on the rocky shores of the western islands of the Galapagos archipelago. They are endemic to the islands and due to their decreasing population size, they are classed as endangered by the IUCN. They are the smallest in the family of eared seals and have a grayish-brown fur coat. Galapagos fur seals have large eyes so that they can hunt at night and still keep a lookout for predators such as sharks. They feed primarily on fish and cephalopods. The Galapagos sea lion is a species that primarily breeds in the Galapagos Islands. They are not true seals, as they are able to rotate their hind flipper under their pelvic girdle and lack the characteristic long, finger-like claws of true seals. Some shots showing their extreme agility diving underwater to fish and also play on their style. The South American tapir, or the Brazilian tapir, is the second largest mammal in South America, second to its cousin, the Baird's tapir. There are four species of tapir in the world and three of them reside in South and Central America. Tapirs are related to horses and rhinoceroses, not pigs or antitas, as people commonly think. They share the same type of feet, having hooves on the ends of their legs and animals like these are known as ungulates. The South American tapir is found in lowland regions around northern and central South America. They are usually found near places that have salt and water. Their habitats are slowly being destroyed due to deforestation and they are being hunted for meat. They are excellent swimmers. It is a true pig. They form bands of up to 12 individuals, although old tales talk about bands of 400. Normally eat grass, but they are really omnivorous. Very aggressive when fell threatened, can face even a young jaguar. The white-tailed deer, also called the Virginia deer or white-tail, 
is named for the white underside of its tail, which is visible when it holds its tail erect when it runs. Adults have a bright reddish-brown coat in the summer, and in the winter it is a duller grayish-brown. The young have white spots on their reddish coats. There are 38 subspecies of white-tailed deer residing throughout Central, North and South America. Their range extends from Northern South America all the way up to Southern Canada. White-tailed deer live in temperate and tropical deciduous forests and are often found at forest edges and open fields. These individuals were filmed in the Venezuelan Llanos.